What's up all the people on the internet? My name is Milo and this is Daily Plus. Hello everyone and once again welcome to Daily Plus, your favorite show about everything Eurovision. So today we actually have two weeks of news, so we have a lot of things to talk about today. But we will also have time to listen to the song of the week. So, without further ado, let's get into the first bit of news. And the first bit of news is something that a lot of Eurovision fans are probably very excited about. Because a couple weeks ago EBU announced that the Big Five, which is France, Germany, United Kingdom, Italy and Spain, will now get the chance to perform their songs at the semifinals. This is done to help the big five countries promote themselves some more and give the listeners a chance to listen to the songs before the grand final. It's also a great way for the artists to get a chance to rehearse on the big stage and actually try to do the whole show and see how it goes before their big chance on the Saturday show. A lot of people have for a long time wanted the big five to take part in the semi-finals because the big five countries haven't done that well over the last couple years. EBU has now listened to these people and they are now part of the semi-finals and hopefully this will make the big five countries even more interesting interested in picking out the perfect entry. Semi-finals were introduced in the Eurovision Song Contest back in 2004, and back then it was decided that the big four countries, France, Spain, the United Kingdom and Germany, the countries that contribute the most to the EBU, were automatically going to go to the final every single year. And when Italy came back to the contest in 2011, they were put in the mix too, and they became known as the big five countries. Two countries have actually already decided they are participant for next year's Eurovision, that is the Netherlands and Montenegro. From the Netherlands we have a very known star from the country, and his name is Dove Bob. A couple weeks ago, Dutch broadcaster Avro Trust announced that Dove Bob will be flying the Netherlands flag at the Eurovision next year in Stockholm. The singer became known in the Netherlands in 2013, when he won the contest the best singer-songwriter in the Netherlands. And ever since then, he's been a big star in the country, so obviously that makes him the obvious choice for Eurovision. This year, the Netherlands unfortunately didn't go to the final, but they're hoping that next year they will be back in the final, just like they were in 2013 and 2014. Montenegro has also decided their singers, and it's a trio. The trio is called Highway and they are definitely on their way to representing Montenegro in next year's Eurovision. The trio rose to fame earlier this year when they participated in X Factor in Montenegro, and they will now be building on the success that Montenegro has had in the last couple years of Eurovision. This year Montenegro received their best ever placing, when their song and artist came 15th in the grand final. Armenia is also getting ready for the Eurovision 2016, and they have started hinting at the singer for next year. The singer is going to be a girl as portrayed on the video that they posted on the Eurovision YouTube page. But who is this mystery girl? We will find out later next week. A lot of fans have already speculated about who this girl could be, and a lot of people are very excited to find out who Armenia is gonna send to the context next year. Who do you think it's gonna be? Leave your suggestions down in the comments below. We also have some very exciting news from the United Kingdom, because for next year's contest they are letting you decide who flies the flag for the United Kingdom. The United Kingdom hasn't done very well in the contest over the last couple years, so the BBC has decided that now it's time to finally let the public decide. How exactly the format is going to be will be revealed more in detail later on, but it will not be in the typical national final style that we see in a lot of other countries. It is the BBC after all, they like doing things on their own. This year the United Kingdom was represented with Electro Velvet and their song Still In Love With You. And right from the beginning it was the song that everyone expected to fail. But the United Kingdom is one of the big five countries and therefore they are in the final every single year. The fans of Eurovision definitely want the UK to step up and send a good entry for once. And hopefully this will be the way they can do it. Other countries are also getting ready for their national finals. And right now it's France, Switzerland and Albania that's looking for songs for their national finals for next year. If you want more information about that you can check all the links on our website escplus.com. Now it's time for some junior Eurovision news and we have three new winners. Three new singers that are gonna fly the flag for their country in the junior Eurovision this year. And the first national final that was held was two weeks ago when Russia had their final. The song Dream is the song that will represent Russia this year in the Junior Eurovision Song Contest. The song was chosen with a mixture of jury and public vote, 18 different songs competed, and Misha was the guy who won it all. Last year Russia was represented by Alicia Koshikiva, who was internally selected by the Russian broadcaster. But this year they were back with a national final format. Another country who is also very well known for their national finals is the Netherlands and their Junior Song Festival had their final this week. Open the sky, I know you see them too. 
Shalisa and her song A Million Lights won in the Junior Song Festival in the Netherlands. And she is now on her way to Safia to fly the flag for the Netherlands. Shalisa is 15 years old and she is right now one of the oldest contestants in the song contest this year. The Junior Song Festival had eight participants this year, with five of them reaching the final. And Shalisa, she was the big winner. And finally, Slovenia also had their national final, the Mini EMA. Another ballad comes from Slovenia, and this was the song that won the first ever Mini EMA. Leni and Lina was the two contestants that were represented in the final of the Mini EMA, but Lina ultimately won the contest. This is only the second time the Slovenia is participating in the Junior Eurovision. Last year they had their first ever participation with Ula and her song Nisi Sam. San Marino has officially confirmed participation for this year's Junior Eurovision, and that means we right now have 16 countries. San Marino will be internally selecting their entry just like they've done the last two years, because this will be the first time that the small country is represented in the Junior Eurovision. 16 countries have so far been confirmed, but there is a possibility of one more country. Executive producer of the Junior Eurovision Song Contest Vlad has said on his Twitter that there is a possibility that one more country will join, but we won't know until the head of delegation meeting, which is later this week. So I'll promise you, next week I'll tell you if we'll have 16 or 17 sensational singers at this year's Junior Eurovision. And finally, the twins from Italy has been in the studio to record their song. There is not much known about the song so far, other than the song is going to be called Viva. A couple weeks ago the two twins won the Italian national selection, Tilasio una canzon, but in that contest it was only the singers that were decided, not the song. It looks like most of the songs have already been recorded, because the songs all have to be handed into the EBU by the head of delegation meeting. So we will most likely hear in the next couple weeks all the songs that will be participating in this year's Junior Eurovision. Phew! That was a lot of news, wasn't it? Okay, now it's time to listen to the song of the week. And this time we're actually only going one year back. We're going back to the third place last year from Armenia. Armenia was represented last year by Betty and her song People Love the Sun, and it came third when the show was held in the Marsha shipbuilding in Malta. There you go, that was all for Daily Plus this week. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, remember to leave a like and a favorite so I know you want more of this show. Also click subscribe button because we do both exclusive interviews and shows like this. And remember, if you want all the latest Eurovision news as soon as it comes out, remember to check our website, escplus.com. We post all the latest news as soon as it comes out. Also, if you want more from me, I have a show called Hashtag Pigtails, which is all about music and culture, so you should definitely check that out too. But that's all I have for you today. See you next week.